According to recent research, it's highly likely that Tesla stock will reach $400 this summer, but before we jump to conclusions, it's important to investigate and determine if this information holds any merit or if it's just based on speculation. Tesla has been on a roller coaster ride and finally is showing some promising progress, which makes investors question if this upward trend is a sure thing. Is it finally time to buy and make money for ourselves? Larry Williams, a renowned technician and market historian who has been an authority in the field for longer than I have been able to drive, will be our guide tonight as we delve into the charts. Before we get started, hit the like button and subscribe buttons to receive updates when new Tesla stock news is uploaded. Larry is currently feeling bullish about the broader market, but let's concentrate on one specific stock. He has an impressive track record of accurately forecasting significant market movements, such as the bottom during the COVID-19 pandemic and the January rally earlier this year. Before we consider Larry Williams' viewpoint, let's first get to know him. He has a starting capital of $10,000. Tesla is a topic that you will all undoubtedly find interesting. Larry won the 1987 World Cup Championship of Futures Trading and made an incredible $1 million in one year. Even more impressive is the fact that his daughter Michelle won the same competition 10 years later. Larry's accomplishments speak volumes about his knowledge and credibility. At Tuesday's annual meeting, Elon Musk warned that Tesla would face challenges in the coming year due to the weak global economy. While Larry doesn't dispute this, he has a more optimistic outlook for Tesla stock. It's important to keep in mind that electric vehicles and rocket science are two distinct fields. Larry Williams constantly examines previous thought processes to find recurrent cycles. Both a long-term and an intermediate-term cycle are visible in Tesla's charts. One noteworthy cycle, shown in blue, has a 42-month duration and has consistently influenced the stock's major highs and lows ever since its inception. This pattern is extremely significant because the long-term cycles are currently showing a positive trend. Interesting enough, Tesla's decline came to an end towards the end of last year, perfectly aligning with historical trends, which suggests the stock could potentially continue its rally well into the second quarter of the following year. Trend with the line pointing steadily upward. Larry, a seasoned professional in the space, encourages investors to take advantage of buying opportunities during market downturns instead of worrying about the coming year. This strategy is consistent with the idea that stock prices are likely to rise in the near future, but it's important to use caution during significant rallies. According to Larry, it may be wise to reduce one's position when the stock experiences significant upswings. This strategy aids in reducing potential risks related to overexposure during times of increased volatility. Insights into Tesla's performance can be gained from the study of long-term cycles. The current upward trend of the long-term cycle and historical trends point to a positive outlook for the stock. Investors can position themselves to benefit from Texas' potential growth in the coming months by strategically taking advantage of market dips and exercising caution during significant rallies. In addition, let's address the question on everyone's mind. Is this upward trend a sure thing? Let's hear Larry out before drawing any conclusions as he was remarkably accurate in foreseeing Netflix's performance and he has a similar intuition about Tesla. Larry encourages investors to follow their gut feelings as it is frequently the reason why average individual investors underperform the market index by about 1.5% annually, in contrast to active traders who underperformed by 6.5 and. In the fast-paced and unpredictable world of stocks and investments, it's better to weather a brief emotional setback than to suffer significant financial losses. So the wise ones have advised us to put aside our emotions and instead rely on logic and facts. They stress the importance of taking a step back and carefully analyzing the situation before making any financial decisions. Kramer, a thoughtful person who approaches the market with a healthy dose of skepticism, finds that this sentiment resonates with him. As he learns more about the current situation surrounding Tesla, his doubts and concerns start to take shape. While others may be caught up in the excitement surrounding the business's recent developments, Kramer is cautious and prefers to examine this situation with a critical eye and a logical perspective. It's not that Kramer has a personal vendetta against Tesla or its founder, rather. His approach is based in a desire for clarity and accuracy. He understands that relying solely on opinion or passing trends will lead to inaccurate conclusions. Kramer examines the direction in which Tesla is heading. He's not swayed by popular opinion or fleeting trends instead. Kramer finds the statistic intriguing and views it as a promising opportunity, but he is unable to explain why these cycles occur or why they result in profitable trades. He bases his confidence on Larry's impressive track record in providing trustworthy data, which shows that there is an 80% chance that Tesla stock will begin a significant rally and possibly reach 400 by July. Kramer shows a weekly Tesla chart that highlights a Williams-created indicator for tracking hedge fund and mutual fund purchases. 
Using this indicator, it appears that these investors have a history of purchasing Tesla stock just before price increases. While there have been times when the indicator has not accurately predicted Tesla's short-term performance, there is still some correlation to take into account. Contrary to popular belief, they have been correcting their actions as evidenced by their recent aggressive buying of Tesla shares over the past four months. Kramer acknowledges the idea of professional accumulation during price declines is supported by the daily chart, which also includes the institutional money manager indicator. Money managers have consistently invested in Tesla during its leaner times with the intention of acquiring additional shares just before the stock gains begin to slow. Williams also mentioned that Tesla's seasonal pattern fits well with the situation right now. Intriguingly, Ross Gerber recently sold Tesla on April 24th and then bought it back. Although this trade did not result in significant gains because Tesla's stock only rose by about 10% during that time, what catches Kramer's attention is Larry Williams himself at the age of 80. If Williams really possessed exceptional trading skills, he most likely would have become a billionaire by now, according to Williams' website. Williams claims to have traded stocks in 1970 and made his first million dollars. Using an investment calculator from 1970 to 2023, $1 million would have increased to $1 billion at a 14% annual return. If we increase the return to 20, which is closer to what Warren Buffett has accomplished, the numbers become even more remarkable, reaching $15 billion today in my quest to learn more about them. This amount might not sound significant for a skilled trader. A quick search turns up very little information. The only interesting fact is his estimated net worth, which is around $5 million. This begs the question, if he really has exceptional trading abilities, why doesn't he have a fund or any other tangible sign of his success? His website doesn't mention historical returns, which only serves to highlight the fact that he has been trading for an impressive 57 years. Despite this longevity being commendable, his website doesn't offer any convincing evidence of his achievements. Despite the fact that he may be a remarkable individual, my basic research has not turned up any outstanding accomplishments, so I find myself lacking confidence in trusting his research. I may be missing something important about this person, and if so, I encourage you to share your insights in the comment section below. However, at this time, I can't place much weight on this research. I'd love to talk with you more, but we have to stop this video here. Beyond a single instance of turning $10,000 into $1 million, these accomplishments, if they exist, remain hidden from public view absent from both his Wikipedia page and his website.